hello guys welcome to civil concept and in this video i will show you the estimation of concrete in a column okay so you can see here there are uh, two column uh, which are in square shape 12 inch by 12 inch and two column are in round shape which are one feet uh, each its diameter okay so let's start our video and uh, uh, here uh, in estimation we will use excel sheet okay so uh, you don't have to worry about that uh, you don't know anything about excel sheet i will show you from beginning okay so you don't have to worry about that you cannot uh, use excel okay so here you can see this is the interface of the excel and uh, after that uh, this this uh, small unit is known as cell so uh, this uh, uh, cell can be its width and height can be managed from here okay so here you can see this cell is uh, its height is uh, decreasing and when we drag it up and down its uh, uh, height will uh, increase or decrease okay if you want to change its width then you can simply drag this uh, upper portion abc uh, letter uh, from uh, right to left and uh, you can change the width of this cell okay now what we have to do just we have to uh, make a format of estimation of concrete in a column okay so how will we do first of all write here sn it means serial number okay and after that we have to write here item description okay so item description item description okay so you can see here this cell are uh, merging this letter is going from this cell to this cell so you can increase the increase the uh, width of this cell okay so i am increasing its width and you can see okay this now this letter is coming in this uh, cell only okay so you can drag it to increase or decrease the width of this cell okay so item description after that uh, uh, first of all i am writing here number one is our rectangular column or square column okay s q a r square column okay so uh, square column uh, is how much uh, in number there are two in number okay so uh, what we have to write we have to write here uh, quantity okay so quantity okay quantity and again increase the width of the cell quantity after that uh, after that what we have to write uh, there are two in number okay so two first of all uh, delete this first of all write here length okay length after that uh, increase its width and width width after that height okay gst height okay and uh, for round column we have to write dia diameter okay diameter so increase its width okay i have i have written all the dimension okay so for first square column uh, what we have to write square column there are two in number okay square column are two in number its length is how much we have to measure from here uh, its length is uh, one feet and one feet okay one feet and one feet so its length is one feet and we have to divide it by uh, how much we have to divide by 3.28 to convert it into meter okay so uh, one feet is uh, when we divide it by one divided by one uh, 3.28 then it will converted it into meter okay so first of all to use the formula you have to put here equals to in front of this number then only it will be converted into formula okay so equals to it will automatically give you a number by calculating okay when we put equals to uh, before this digit okay so we have used this formula after that width is also how much width is i think this is also uh, one feet okay so i am putting here one feet again one divided by 3.28 which is in meter again we have to put here equals to sign then it will only convert it into formula enter it will uh, convert it into meter okay so all the dimension are in meter okay i am writing here meter and again here meter okay and height is how much let's see from here to here is 10 feet okay so i am putting here 10 feet 10 first of all right here equals to 10 divided by 3.28 enter okay so it has also converted it into meter okay now 
uh, in square column there is no diameter so you you don't have to write anything so here write what volume okay so volume right here volume and this should be in what unit right here unit it will be meter cube okay meter cube okay and increase its width a little bit okay now volume is equals to equals to this uh, length multiply width multiply height okay and it will be give us what volume this is our uh, 0.2834 meter cube uh, concrete will require to construct this column okay so uh, i think the spelling of q u a sorry it will be quantity okay okay now guys we have uh, calculated the volume of one column but there are two number of columns so what we have to do just edit this formula you can edit from here also on the top bar okay and multiply multiply with what quantity there are two number of columns so enter so guys this is the volume of two square column okay and in number two what we have to do we have to calculate the round column okay so round column round column is how much two number okay and its diameter is how much diameter is i think one feet okay so i am uh, measuring from here from here to here is one feet okay so one feet column we have so put here uh, equals to one divided by uh, divided by 3.28 okay so its diameter will convert it into meter okay so guys this is uh, uh, many numbers after this point this so you can decrease its uh, points but uh, we can uh, round up this so to round up we have to click here okay decrease decimal okay i have rounded up to three point okay or four point okay so diameter is uh, uh, given now what we have to uh, we have to uh, take its height column height is i think uh, it is also 10 feet okay so from here to here is 10 feet okay so put here height is also 10 feet so equals to 10 divided by 3.28 okay enter so you have we have also height in meter diameter in meter now we can calculate the volume okay so what is the formula of volume for round column equals to pi pi means 3.14 okay pi d square d square means diameter it means diameter d square multiply d multiply d okay so it will be d square pi d square divided by 4 okay 4 and we have to multiply with height okay height equals to okay guys we have the uh, volume of one circular column will be 0 0.2225 meter cube okay but there is uh, the volume of one circular column only okay so we have to call calculate the volume of two so we have to multiply it with quantity okay so give it a small bracket okay like this and uh, multiply it with quantity okay quantity click just click on the cell it will take its value itself okay so clicking on this we have multiply with quantity and again enter so we have got this much volume so guys in this way we can calculate uh, estimate we can estimate the co uh, concrete in a column now let us take total total volume okay so again this letter is going into this cell so you can uh, merge this two cell okay so how will you merge just select this two cell and here you can see written written here merge and center uh, click here so it will merge here okay now give uh, sum equals to equals to take sum this is the formula to sum of the many cell okay sum bracket this and this okay so drag it i have to add this two and give the small bracket close and enter okay guys we have to uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, make 1.0118 meter cube of a concrete but this is guys this is only weight volume okay so we have to convert it into dry volume okay so what what total volume will be how much 1.011 you can write here like this uh, total uh, total 
total weight volume okay okay so total weight volume now we have to calculate the total dry volume okay so again i am merging this cell total dry volume okay okay total dry volume so what we have to do we have to add 50 uh, 52 percent to 54 percent of the concrete in the dry volume or uh, weight volume to calculate the dry volume okay so equals to this multiply 1.54 enter okay guys we have to uh, prepare 1.558 dry volume of concrete okay to make the uh, to make two square column and two round column okay now if you want to calculate these all are in meter cube guys okay so i can drag it to make the same unit okay now if you want to calculate the cement sand and aggregate from dry volume then just you have to first of all we have to specify grade okay so for example i am taking m20 grade uh, m20 grade of concrete okay grade of concrete okay if we are taking m20 grade uh, grade of concrete then grade okay to m20 grade of concrete then its ratio will be how much 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay so this is our grade so first of all what i have to do first of all we have to add all this ratio equals to 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 equals to okay so it will be 5.5 now we have to use formula for cement okay and sand sand and aggregate okay a g g r e aggregate okay so to calculate the volume of cement we have to use the formula equals to uh, what is the ratio of cement 1 1 divided by this sum and multiply with this dry volume okay this just we have to click on the cell and it will take automatically okay now enter okay guys this much meter cube will be this is our meter cube okay so i am copying from there here and pasting here okay meter cube and now uh, increase its width a little bit okay now sand for sand what is again we are using formula equals to ratio of sand is how much 1.5 divide by this total sum multiply this dry volume okay equals to and again for aggregate equals to what is the ratio of aggregate 3 divide by total sum multiply its dry volume okay equals to okay guys these are the meter cube of cement sand and aggregate we require to prepare this two square column and round column again if you want to convert this uh, meter cube of cement into uh, weight then just we have to write where weight of cement okay weight of cement will be i am merging this two cell okay so merge weight of cement will be how much uh, just uh, we have to multiply this volume with 1440 okay equals to this volume multiply into its density density of cement is how much 1440 kg per meter cube okay so we have to multiply this volume uh, because weight is equals to volume into uh, density okay so volume we have calculated and density is 1440 and equals to it will be 407.91 kg this is guys kg of cement okay now if you want to convert it into bags so again merging this cell and bags of cement okay bags of cement will be how much this first of all right here equals to this divided by 50 50 because we have one bags of cement equals to 50 kg okay enter and this is our guys numbers of bags okay so for constructing these types of two square column of 10 feet and round column of 10 feet having diameter 1 feet and length width 1 feet we will require how much uh, 8 bags of cement and uh, sand this much meter cube sand and this much meter cube of aggregate okay guys so in this way we can estimate the concrete in the column uh, we can estimate the cement and sand now if you want to make this 
दिस सेल्स एट्रैक्टिव देन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेक्ट ऑल दिस सेल ओके आफ्टर सेलेक्टिंग ऑल दिस सेल यू हैव टू गो इन दिस एंड गिव अ बॉर्डर ओके ओके नाउ गिव दिस आइटम्स नेविगेशन ओके दिस आइटम मेनू कॉलर लाइक समथिंग इयर ओके आई एम गिविंग इट ग्रीन कलर ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट दिस रिजल्ट इन एट्रैक्टिव वे देन यू कैन यूज दिस ब्लू कलर एंड लेटर इन व्हाइट कलर ओके बोल्ड इट ओके वी हैव टेकन अगेन वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस ओके सो गाइज इन दिस वे वी कैन मेक आवर टेबल एट्रैक्टिव एंड कैलकुलेसन एगेन इफ यू चेंज If you change here the length, width, and height of this column, then it will uh, its result will also change. For example, uh, I have to make the square column of length how much? For example, five feet, five feet. And if we uh, click enter, then you can see here this number of bags also changed, and uh, uh, this volume of sand and aggregate also changed. Okay, guys. So in this way, we can estimate the concrete in the column. So guys please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you